This program was made possible by contributions to the Good Enough For Me Patreon by viewers just like you. Thank you. You know that thing where I talk about really old items and hope someone gives a shit? Well, do I have quite a thing for you this week. But this week is very special because we only have 50% of the product. This is the Max Media Player, the future of watching and playing media and game backups on your Nintendo DS Lite. Well, how about 50% of it? If you're familiar with old DS flashcards like R4s or M3s, for example, you should know that there was something before that that was attempting to bridge the gap between the DS and the PSP, and their differing abilities to play media. Which is to say, the DS didn't have shit. Fucking thing sucks! This is where the Max Media Player comes in. This handheld had two parts, the DS cart and the fat, chunky badonkadonk that was on slot two. Holy shit, is that Sonic Adventure on that kid's screen? This product, made by Detel, was sold at Walmarts and played media, music, photos, homebrew, and game backups. If you were feeling like you wanted to risk being a little bit spicy, you are a pirate. Pretty cool, but it was ugly as shit. You're probably wondering though, Fast, why don't you have the ass end of this device? Well, this thing is so hard to find these days. It's terribly priced, and if you don't know, this thing used compact flashcards inside the bottom section. You know, the storage method that uses frail, shitty connecting pins for some reason, instead of something normal, like micro SD cards. The Max Media Player was prone to this kind of breakage on those little pins because, as you guessed, it sucks dick. The actual menus that I have been able to find from videos online of this thing were pretty compared to its contemporaries like R4's menus that would run on Moonshell and custom kernels that would soon run Max Media Player's ass straight out of town only a year later after it was released. Now I would say this is quite similar to a course I took in anthropology when humans ran other human species out of town. You know, Neanderthals, like you, who should have left. You know, in searching for footage for this thing, it's starting to make me feel old because not only are all the videos 15 years old, but also in 144p, sorry, it's actually, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to 144 pixels. I remember the days when I would download DS Homebrew for this thing for hours and infect my parents' computer with plenty and plenty of viruses. Why did the Max Media Dock get absolutely shafted by the R4? Well, the R4 contained a micro SD card slot, meaning the GBA slot didn't require a big clunky cartridge. The R4 had better software and was much less prone to breaking. You know, it's, it's pretty basic, it's cool, you know, it's got a few extra things, you know, like different shaped, uh, hang on here. You know, because of the thing I said 181 words before this. Now, I'm not gonna ask an existential question to the audience today, like, uh, should you buy the Max Media Player on Nintendo DS in current year? Gone sexual. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna be honestly the most straight with you I have ever been in my entire life. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoon feed you the answer. I'm gonna spoon feed it to you with a spoon. Kinda like the other video, the Thumbie, that also fits in a spoon. Honestly, the, the truth behind the Max Media Dock slash player is, yeah, don't buy it. You, you, what, do you, what do you want me to say? You want? I don't have time to drink water. I'm a businessman. Zoom into the dick.